Thank you so much for watching Landom Sea Goes There. Please subscribe and hit the like button and the bell notification button. Welcome Back Cotter premiered on September 9th, 1975. Upon its release, it became a cultural sensation. Though it lasted a mere four seasons, and after the third, most of the original writers, as well as John Travolta and Cotter himself, were largely absent. The television series spawned boatloads of merchandise. There were action figures, lunchboxes, comic books, board games, and many more things. The Sweat Hogs were a household name, especially John Travolta. The series stars stand-up comedian and actor Gabe Kaplan as the main character, Gabe Cotter, a wisecracking teacher who returns to his alma mater, James Buchanan High School in Brooklyn, New York. Ten years after graduating from there, to teach a remedial class of loafers called the Sweat Hogs. The rigid vice principal, Michael Woodman, who was formerly Cotter's social studies teacher himself, dismisses the Sweat Hogs as witless hoodlums and only expects Cotter to contain them until they drop out or become otherwise banished. Cotter befriends the current Sweat Hogs and stimulates their potential, where a very strong pupil-teacher rapport is formed, and the students often visit Cotter's apartment, sometimes via the fire escape window, all of this to the chagrin of his wife, Julie. In 1972, after moving to L.A. to pursue his acting career, a very young John Travolta landed his first credited television role on the second episode of the second season of the TV show Emergency. That episode was entitled Kids. The soon-to-be sweat hog plays a 16-year-old hiker who falls off a cliff and has to be rescued. A lot of the source material for this hit sitcom was Gabe Kaplan's own stand-up routine. One part was called Holes and Mellow Rolls which colorfully chronicled his former days as a teenager in Brooklyn. His gang of real-life sweat hogs would toss around the insult, up your hole with a mellow roll, suggesting that one stick an ice cream treat you know where. And obviously, this had to be cleaned up for network television, so it was changed to up your nose with a rubber hose. The Boston affiliate did not air the first four episodes of the series due to the racial tensions that were happening at that time in the city. In September of 74, the city of Boston implemented a busing system to desegregate public schools. The mandated desegregation led to a series of riots. A year later, when Welcome Back Cotter prepared for its premiere, the tensions were still running high in this city. The local ABC affiliate feared that a sitcom depicting such diversity in the classroom would stoke the flames, so it passed on airing the show. But four episodes later, Cotter was a ratings hit all around the country, so this affiliate decided they better get on the bandwagon too. The show could have been simply called Cotter, if anything rhymed with Cotter. The former Loving Spoonful frontman John Sebastian was tasked with writing the theme song to the upcoming comedy titled Cotter. The problem he had, he couldn't come up with anything or any series of words that rhymed with Cotter. So the singer penned a less specific mid-tempo number with a tinge of melancholy called Welcome Back. The network loved the tune so much, the title of the series was changed to work that name of the tune into the title. Groucho Marx was supposed to appear in the episode Sadie Hawkins Day. You see, Kaplan was a massive fan of Marx, and he based the Sweat Hogs off the Marx Brothers dynamic. Groucho was invited to appear, yet when the actor, then in his mid-80s, 
showed up on the set, he appeared too frail and weak and shocked the rest of the cast. It was then decided by the production not to show him in such a desperate shape. Even the -the behind-the-scenes photos were reportedly tossed to preserve Groucho's dignity. Gabe Kaplan clashed with producers creatively during the last couple of seasons, and he eventually left the show as a result. He wanted to have the Sweat Hogs graduate during the 1978 season and enroll them in a local junior college, with Kaplan overseeing them. But the show's producers wanted to keep the formula as they had it, so they kept the Sweat Hogs in high school. This led to Kaplan quitting. By the final season, the writing staff for the show was replaced by very seasoned comedy writers who had earlier worked on Here's Lucy from 1968 and other shows with actors that were much older than the high schoolers who were the focus of Welcome Back, Cotter. These new writers just weren't capable of delivering the fresh, hip dialogue that the show needed, and the ratings fell off quickly. Now, one of the great scenes that happens on live television included Gabe Kaplan and Robert Conrad. You see, they were involved in the Battle of the Network Stars. One of the events was a 4x100 relay race that seemed very simple on the face of it. So what could possibly go wrong? The race began without a hitch, but the back stretch was when it all went terribly wrong. Conrad ended up knocking over one of his teammates and sent her sprawling. In an attempt to recover precious time, Ben Murphy retreated several feet to accept the baton that was being passed to him. This act was a clear violation of the rules. A mediator was summoned, and they decided that it was a clear violation, and Kaplan's team enjoyed the fruits of victory. Flaring tempers ensued. Robert Conrad acts like a full-blown jerk, challenging Kaplan to a race to determine who is the true winner. Kaplan, not really being an athlete, wasn't expected to beat the in-your-face guy that Conrad was. But Gabe Kaplan goes on and smokes Conrad, embarrassing the actor and embarrassing his team. Look it up on YouTube. You can find clips of it. It's really fun to watch. Kaplan gives him an old-fashioned whipping. Go back and watch an episode of Welcome Back, Cotter. It'll bring back the 70s all over again. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll continue to chase the classics.